Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is a video about something called rational form. So we're going to take some notes together on the first page. And then you have a chance to pause the video and try some problems on your own. And then at the end you can see how you did. Alright, so what exactly is rational form? Well, you should know by now that a rational number is any number that can be written as a fraction, right? And in fact, the term ratio is in the term rational, right? So rational form is basically when a number is written as a fraction. So let's write that down. So a number, so when a number is written as a fraction. So an example would be something like this. Say if we have 0 0.5. Well, 0 0.5, as you know, equals 1 half, right? So 1 half is written as a fraction. So this would be in rational form, okay? Um, same thing for, say, if we have uh, 0 0.7. Well, 0 0.7, okay, as a fraction equals 7 tenths. So 7 tenths is 0.7 in rational form, all right? So anytime a teacher says write it in rational form, you want to write it as a fraction. So let's do a few more examples here. Let me pick a different color here. Um, so 3 tenths in rational form would be 3 over 10. Now here we have a mixed number. We have 3 and a fourth. So in order to make this uh, in rational form, we need to make it improper. So if I do 3 times 4, that's 12, plus 1 is 13. So 13 fourths is 3 and 1 fourth in rational form. It's a fraction now, right? And then finally, we have the integer 13. Well, to make this in rational form, we need to write it as 13 over 1, all right? So anytime you hear the term rational form, it basically means take your number and write it um, in a fraction. So now that you understand a little more about rational form, why don't you pause the video and try the your turn now problems. And when you're done, hit play. You can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's say we did these practice problems. So the first part, you had to identify which of the following are written in rational form. And remember, rational form is just as a fraction. So 5 6 is a fraction, so that's written in rational form. So is 10 thirds. And 5 and 2 thirds, well, that's a mixed number, so it's not. Negative 9 tenths is in rational form. 12 over 1 is in rational form. Uh, 0.22 is not, right? That, if that was 22 and hundredths as a fraction, then you would. 29 and 4 tenths is not. 2 fifths is in fractional form. And the number 8 by itself is not, all right? And then for these, you had to write each number in rational form. So 5 and 4 sevenths, well, to make this rational form, it's got to be improper, or sorry, a, a uh, improper fraction. So 7 times 5 is 35, plus 4 is 39. So 39 sevenths, that's the answer for that one. Here we have the number 100, so we'd have to write this 100 over 1. And then finally, 15 hundredths, we have to write as 15 over 100. And sometimes it's nice to reduce it, so this could reduce, reduce down to 3 twentieths. So both of these are actually in rational form, so this is just in simplest terms. And that normally is what you want right there. All right, how'd you do?